Lately, I've been seeing a lot of Timu ads pop up everywhere and I decided to check out some of their titanium EDC gear and spent about $70 on a bunch of random things like keychains, tweezers, and a pry bar. In this video, we're going to see if they're worth the money or if I got scammed. Before we get into the video, here's a quick disclaimer. I'm not affiliated with any of the sellers and if you want to pick up any gear, there will be non-affiliated links in the description box. Also, all pricing in this video are in Australian dollars and since they have sales all the time, the pricing on the products might change. With that out of the way, let's start from the cheapest to the most expensive and make sure you watch until the end to hear my thoughts on the pry bar. First up, here we have the titanium toothpick for $1.34. In the package, the toothpick comes with a split ring to attach it to your keys or other gear. The case has a silvery finish and was already scratched up when it arrived in the mail. Once you unscrew the case, you can screw the case back onto the toothpick and extend the handle. The case and toothpick doesn't seem like it's titanium and I don't have any scientific way of testing if it's titanium. The toothpick itself is pretty sharp and pointy. I didn't try using this toothpick in my mouth because I feel that this tip is too sharp and can potentially hurt my teeth and gums. However, I found that this toothpick is very useful for other things. For example, you can use it to clean any gunk and grime stuck in nooks and crannies like on a camera or even in a knife pivot. I've tried using the toothpick as a SIM ejector tool and it works pretty well too. Another strange way I've come across with this toothpick is that if your watch has drilled lug holes, you can use it to remove the bracelet on your watch. Here are my final thoughts on this titanium toothpick that doesn't seem to be titanium. I think it's a very underrated tool to add to your kit. Even though it might not be titanium, for around $1.50, I still think it's pretty good. It also comes in a 5 pack option and it might be a good idea to have one of these toothpicks in different pouches and toolkits. It's a bit of a strange tool, but surprisingly useful. Next up, I bought this pair of mini tweezers made from titanium alloy for $5.38. These are available in two different finishes, a blue and the silver one I have here. The first thing I noticed about these tweezers is that they're pretty thin and lightweight. It has a silvery finish and subtle machining lines on the surface. On the inside, it's much more obvious and has some marks and discoloration. These mini tweezers have a bit of jimping on both sides for extra grip. The fine tips are very narrow and perfectly aligned. When the tips are closed, I found that I can ever so slightly flex the tweezers. I wouldn't consider them very sturdy and fit for hard use. These tweezers are fairly compact and lightweight, which makes them very portable and you can easily slip these into your pouches or toolkit. For around $5, these tweezers are pretty good even though sometimes it feels a bit flimsy. After I bought these, I found another seller with a similar design, but it looked much more beefy and costs around $16. If you want to check out the more expensive version, I'll include a link in the description box. Moving to the next item, I bought another pair of tweezers and these were $6.98. Inside the package, it comes with a split ring and plastic covers on the tips. These mini tweezers are advertised as TC4 titanium alloy and they feel very beefy and sturdy. On the end, there is a hole for the included split ring or you can use it to attach some paracord. Along the surface, there is some subtle texturing for extra grip. However, it's fairly smooth and not as grippy as the previous pair. These tweezers are a bit shorter and slightly thicker and the action feels much better and doesn't flex. Overall, for $7, I really like these tweezers and they feel much more sturdy compared to the previous pair. However, if you noticed in the b-roll, these tweezers were a bit bent when they arrived. It might not be a huge deal breaker, but something to consider when getting them. If they weren't bent, I would consider picking these up over the previous pair. The next piece of gear I bought from Timu is this closed loop titanium keyring for $7.50. The seller also had an open loop option, but was sold out when I bought this one. This keyring is pretty simple in design, it's just a solid piece of titanium. I didn't find the closed loop very useful since you can't add keys directly to it. The closed loop keyring is used more as a connecting piece to a keychain and carabiner instead. For $7, I don't think this is worth it and I might loop some paracord to turn it into a lanyard bead or a zipper pull. I think the open loop version would be much more practical and useful than this one. Next up, I bought a 2 pack of titanium carabiner keychains for around $9. The two keychains have slightly different designs. One has a notch on the inside and the other one doesn't. The product listing doesn't mention any practical differences, but based on my time with them, here's what I noticed. 
that both require the same amount of force to open the carabiner. The only difference I found is that one with a notch acts as a guard to prevent slip rings from moving freely. The split ring can sometimes still move past the notch at certain angles. I'd say the notch does an okay job and I wouldn't get them for this specific feature. Both titanium carabiners are very solid and you can't go wrong with them unless you need something bigger or smaller. For $5 each, these are pretty good value. The next piece of gear I bought was a mini titanium pen for $16. In the package, it comes with the pen, a split ring, and two extra refills. The pen is incredibly slim with a matte finish. On the end, it has a hole for the split ring to add it to a keychain. One interesting thing about this pen is the bolt action. The bolt is very wobbly and the action feels scratchy and springy. The build quality of the bolt is pretty questionable and I'm worried it might snap off. The main highlight of this pen is the titanium and ultra slim form factor. It can easily fit into different pouches or even inside a wallet. When it comes to using the pen, I have pretty small hands and found it a bit awkward to hold. There's not much grip to hold onto since it's incredibly slim. I wasn't able to find any information about the refill this pen uses, but it writes surprisingly smoothly. This pen is great if you need something with this form factor, however for $16, I wouldn't buy it and at the time of writing the script, it was on sale for $9, which might not be a bad choice. At around $16, I think there are better pen options for under $20, even though they might not be titanium. For example, you can get a pack of Muji pens or even the Olight O-Pen Mini, which has much better build quality. Moving to the most expensive item on this list, the Titanium Pry Bar for $20. First off, the design of this Pry Bar looks very similar to the Glow Rhino Pry Bar. The only difference I could spot is the slot for the tritium tube. I suspect that this $20 Pry Bar could be a clone or copy. Besides that, this Pry Bar is made from TC4 Titanium Alloy and feels very solid in hand. Most edges on the pry bar are smooth except for the two edges near the bowl opener. They're quite sharp and things could potentially get caught on it. Besides the bowl opener, this pry bar has other tools like the pry and scraper on the front and towards the end of the handle, it has a flathead screwdriver and a hole for a keychain or lanyard. The pry bar has a pretty decent size and here is a quick size comparison against some other gear I own. The size is very similar to other EDC gear and because it's flat, this pry bar can easily slide into different slots and pouches. I'm a bit hesitant to recommend this pry bar because it seems like a clone or copy of the Glow Rhino pry bar, even though this one is made from titanium, whereas the Glow Rhino is made from aluminium. I think it's important to support our makers and designers in this community. However, if you don't care about any of that stuff, this is a well-designed pry bar for $20 even if there's a chance that it might not be titanium. And that pretty much wraps up all of the gear I bought from Timu for $70. Some of it are worth it, like the toothpick for $1.50 and the two pack carabiners for $9. These two are the best value out of the gear I covered in this video. The pry bar is pretty good, but it seems like a copy of the Glow Rhino pry bar. In my opinion, the bolt action pen for $16 wasn't worth it, and I think there are better options. In conclusion, there are some gems here and some not so great items that aren't completely terrible. What are your thoughts on these titanium EDC gear and have you bought anything from them recently? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.